Our next caller is Jessica from BC, Canada. Hey, Jessica, how can we help you? Hey, guys, how's it going? Good. Um, so just a little background on me and my story. So I used to be a chronic overtrainer and under eater. As a result, I gave myself some pretty bad gut issues and also lost my menstrual cycle for about six years. Um, as a result of that, I had such low bone density that um, I ended up breaking a bone. So that was kind of my eye-opening turning point. So that was about two years ago. Um, I totally reworked my brain around how I train and how I feed myself and my nutrition. Um, but in the process of that, I fell in love with multiple types of training. So I started out more like bodybuilding type training, like split training, moved into more of like functional training, you could call it lots of kettlebell work, almost like CrossFit, barbell, free weights, all that kind of stuff. I'm also a spin instructor. So I love to obviously the cardio aspect. Um, another thing is I tend to tend to enjoy like battle ropes, hit training, burpees, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, more recently, since listening to you guys, I got into strength training, more focusing on like that kind of four rep range and on my main lift. So I guess my question for you guys is, what program of yours would you suggest for me? I do have a kinesiology trainer background, so I do tend to write my own programs and I just can't follow one. I start doing it and then I get in the gym and I'm just like kind of all over the place. So I need some help. Jessica, do you want us to be very direct and straight about this or do you, do you need soft gloves? I need direct. <laughs> okay. So I think spin and CrossFit's a terrible idea for you. I think you should be as far away from that as possible. You've already mentioned that you had issues with that in the past. You're flirting with that right now. You're an alcoholic mm -hmm. who's hanging out at a bar. Just, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's no reason why. And the program that's best for you is something like power lift, you know, mm -hmm. is, is a, a program that's completely focused around you know, your performance and strength and not around your body, your body image, not around anything of high intensity whatsoever. It's literally just about getting stronger. So if I was yeah. going to recommend like one of our programs, what it would look like, it would be a, like a power lifting type of program. And I would ask you to get rid of your spin class. I would ask you to avoid the classes, avoid the battle ropes, all that crap that doesn't, you don't need that. It's the complete opposite of what you need. Yeah, I would, I, I would say, you know, echoing what Adam's saying, I'd say take your phone. It's, it's really hard, right? When you're in that, you have that state of mind, it's going to be something that you're probably going to be challenged with probably forever. It's very common with people that work mm. in the fitness space. And so one of the best strategies is to take this focus that you have, and it sounds like you have tremendous focus um, on this particular feeling that exercise provides or maybe the results that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Take it and move it to something else because just not having it isn't going to work. It's going to come back. So what you might want to do is take it and focus on strength. So you can become very fanatical about working out hard, doing lots of exercise, dieting. Take that and see if you can direct it towards, can I see how strong I can get? Let's see how strong mm -hmm. I can get with squats, with deadlifts, with bench presses, with overhead presses. Now, that's not where you're going to stay. Okay, so I want to be clear. If you get too uh, crazy with that, that can become a problem as well. But it is a place that you can shift for the time being. It's going to allow you to exercise in, in, in a way that you're probably going to benefit from. And it's going to allow you to eat in a way that you'll probably benefit from because it's hard to get stronger by eating too few calories or by under yeah. eating. Okay. Now, once you're there, here's the deal. Okay. I'm going to be very straight with you. The, it, the mental component is going to be the challenging component for you. I highly recommend you work with a counselor or a therapist and talk about this. This is a, a behavior that's going to continue to, uh, you're going to have to continue to work on. It's going to plague you. Uh, and the more stress you're under in life, the more challenge that life provides to you the more likely you are to move in that direction. Um, and you probably already noticed that pattern. Like when shit gets hard, I go to my workouts. I work out more. I work out harder or I can control my diet. That's what I can control. Everything feels out of control. So I'm not going to eat. Uh, I'm going to eat less. I'm going to be disciplined or whatever. However, you you spin it on yourself. So focus on strength. You take that, 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 that crazy focus, put it on strength, and then work with someone once a week 
and talk about this. This is not something that's going to fix itself. It's something that's going to require a little I don't, time. You know, I'm never, I'm never going to tell somebody they, they shouldn't do counseling because I think everybody can benefit from counseling. But I also think she's the type of, sounds like a type of person that you have incredible focus and discipline. You just need to shift it. Mm-hmm. You just need to shift it away. Yeah. You, that's really what you... Yeah, for you, sure. So you, I actually have gone through counseling and all that kind of stuff in regards to like my body image and how I like go about nutrition. And I've definitely come a long way. And like you guys said, it is a lifelong battle. Um, it will be something that's kind of inside of me forever. But I've definitely... My focus when I train isn't even on how I look. I want to train to be able to like just feel like a badass in the gym mm-hmm. practically you're a busy body yeah, yeah exactly yeah and i think that's why you know adam's original advice of power lift i think that's a good fit you know for where you're at right now and mainly the rest periods i mean in the recuperative uh, side of that is really measuring that you know being disciplined and, and and really uh leaning into that a bit and seeing how that then you know progresses your strength i think if you can kind of really get in that mindset of what's you know, what am I doing, you know, for my body the most uh, to get it to recuperate, to regenerate, to be able to produce more power, uh, you know, in, in your lifts and, and to be able to measure that, track that, because I, I think that being busy is great, but, uh, you know, directing that in a healthy fashion is going to be, you know, part of your success. Well, and Jessica, you're, you sound like a, a great, I would love for you. So Doug's going to send you over maps power lift. So he'll send that, oh, over. Awesome. he'll send that okay. over to you. And you're the type of person I would love to hear back from you as you go through it so please keep us in the loop uh as you go through it do your best to stick to just that and and get good at that and i would love to hear updates from you as you go through that on your bench squat deadlift and and know how that whole that process is going for you okay amazing all right thanks for calling thanks guys so much no problem yeah i think you know one of the reasons why i mentioned counseling with her and i figured she probably had done this in the past is she and she's like oh i'm so far away from that but the question is i'm struggling i need to do all this high intensity exercise right 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 yeah. so the self-awareness is i've had this issue in the past the self-awareness is not this is an issue that i have right now that i need uh, some maybe some of that help again mm-hmm. and it's it's look you're in the gym it, you're right you're an alcoholic and you're working in a bar very, very challenging. Um, exercise is good for you. So you don't want to tell someone to not exercise unless right. it's an extreme situation. But it's going to be that. It's going to be that constant conversation because what will happen is she'll work out. She'll follow power lift. She'll rest for two minutes or three minutes in between sets. And then she'll be like, I, I need to feel yeah. that no, intensity. I need to add some more. I need to go crazy. Well, and, and well that's the challenge. And that's yes. the discipline that, uh, you know, look at that as the training. You know, if she can really shift the focus more on that aspect of it and not so much, you know, the tangible of like, I'm lifting more weights and, you know, I'm getting getting all fired up from that. More like, you know, how to really read your body and, and the signals. That, I, lo- I love a client like this because she's got, uh, she has the education, so she understands, right? So she, mm-hmm. she knows. She has the self-awareness that she's already put herself through counseling. I think she's already made uh, leaps and bounds in the right direction and she knows where she needs to be. And you take someone like that that's extremely disciplined and you just you just channel that in a different direction as far as their focus. And I think she'll see tremendous results and have a ton of success. So I love, I love people like this because I feel like they're much easier than somebody who has been ex- making excuses for decades of why they they don't want to in take some care ways, of themselves. You in know. some ways, it could be challenging. I mean, I, I actually had a client who went from yeah, an anorexic who went and he started abusing um, anabolic steroids. So they went from yeah. one direction. It was a guy. He was an anorexic uh, yeah. before. Right. And then he channeled his focus to mm-hmm. building muscle, but then it went in that direction. It went crazy and extreme. It can happen with performance too. Well, yeah, yeah you, you're right. You're absolutely, but it, she's also aware of it. So a lot of times people like that, that make a shift aren't aware of their issue. They just, Oh, I need to get away, get away from this and I'm going to go a different direction and they go one extreme to another. So, and that's why I said, I'll never tell somebody they don't need to be counseling. I mean, everybody I think would benefit from seeing a counselor or having a professional to talk to all of us would. Right. So I'm never going to say not to do that, but I also think that she's in a good, a a, a good place, especially since she has that experience. She is self-aware. She has the education. She's got to, she's got to channel that a different direction.